All right, so those are the three problems. Let's go over those three. This is the third of a series in how tall is this tree problems. Right? We've looked at that several times. Um, so the man is six feet tall, so we probably want to make a note of that. Okay. Uh, it says his shadow is 10 feet long and that the tree is 50 feet away, but I told you on Monday that meant what? 50 feet away from what? From the man. From the man to the tree is 50 feet. From the man to the tree is 50 feet. I actually didn't know this. Okay, well, the, the thing here is, this big thing here is a triangle. This little thing here is a triangle. But 50 feet is the distance from here to there. Okay, that's part of the big triangle space, but it doesn't tell me the big triangle space. Can we figure out how big the base of the triangle is? Guys, you can't passively sit there, look around at each other, have 60 feet. not the greatest, some of you are throwing me shade, it feels like. You're not going to do well if that's your approach. So let's get a piece of paper, take some notes, get ready to learn things, okay? Can we figure out how far it is from the tree all the way yes. to the end of the shadow? How? You just add 50 to 10. Yeah, we got 50 from there to the man. The man's shadow is 10 feet, so a total of 60. Yeah. 60 along the base. So what we have, uh, we, can, we can draw this out to the side if we want, or, or we, we may just see the two triangles more easily than, than some. Uh, we got this big triangle. We got a big triangle here. We have a smaller version of that triangle, a scaled down version of that triangle. But the man is part of that triangle. That's what I want to do. And we'll copy it. Right? We got a small version of that triangle right here. This one has a height of 6 and a base of 10. This one has a base of 60. And so far, that's all we know. But the important thing is, we do know that this is a scale version of this guy here. It's a, these two triangles are, what's the word? Similar. Similar, very good, similar. So we know that, for instance, this side is how many times bigger than this? Six. Right, six times bigger, right? 10 feet to 60 feet is a multiplier of six. Okay, which means that this side has to be Six times bigger. Six times bigger, which is? 36. 36, 36, 36. So this tree is 36 feet tall. 36 feet tall. So we can use these similar triangles to figure out how, like, if we know a couple of things about one of the triangles, we can figure out all the other stuff about the other triangles. Notice we did not figure out anything about this long side called the hypotenuse, because who cares? Right. In real life, this measurement is how tall the tree is. Uh, in real life, this measurement is how tall the guy is. This measurement is how long the shadow is. So these are like real things that uh, I could conceive of measuring. But this would be, what would that be the length of? Tip to the ground. Yeah, from the tip to the ground. What use is that? I mean, if I could measure it, I, I could put it to use. But it would be just as difficult to measure that as it would to be just to climb the tree and measure how tall it is. On the homework, I didn't add the 50 plus 10, so I got 30 instead of 36. Oh, uh, well, that's so, okay. Yeah, I mean, so that's, fine. Fine. that's all right. I had no homework. Oh, okay. It just has to do with the wording. I mean, it says away. If that's not a completely clear, I meant to be away from the man. But if you said away from to the shadow, who's to argue with you? You're, you're, you're doing what you ought to be doing with similar triangles, and that's the important part. All right, so we have similar triangles again, except for it's not uh, trees and shadows and people. Okay, Actually, the, the person is here at the very end. Like, Think about this. If I were to lay down on the ground right there, put my eye right at the tip of the, the shadows, and I looked at this guy, this guy, to me, from my perspective, would look exactly as tall as this tree, right? His feet would be on the ground, they would meet up, 
his head would meet up at the top of the tree that would look exactly the same height. Does that make sense? No. Sorry. Yes. Um, let's see. What's, uh, How does it do that? Though? Well, here, let, let's look at this other picture. Maybe this will make more sense. It's not cool. This way. If I have my phone, because maybe you can relate to watching Netflix on your phone as I do. If I hold my phone like this, take out your phone and hold it up to your face. Don't turn it on, just hold it up. Okay? So I'll stand here and I'll stand back here. We'll all hold it up. You forget your phone. Okay? I'm holding it up uh, to the, the, in front of my face. And this is about where I hold it. And I'm, I'm a, kind of imagining it as a big screen TV hanging on the wall. Right? You see, I'm just kind of looking past it and imagining. It's a TV on the wall. Didn't do that. Right? <laughs> wow. See what I'm saying? Yes. So yes. the question kind of about the, that this is asking is, how big would that big yeah, screen TV be, be if that were a TV? How big far, far does it seem like to my eye this t this this phone is? Far away. And the closer it is, the bigger a screen it seems to be, and the farther away the smaller the screen it seems to be, of course. Okay? If I hold it at this, let's see, right here, is about as big as the Prometheus. Uh -huh. Oh, I see how it works now. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's what this is asking, essentially, is how big would a TV be that would appear the same size as this phone that's closer to the eye? Well, we need to know some things about the situation. The phone is being held one foot in front of the face. One foot. The screen, as it's laying down, is three inches tall. Three inches, I should, uh, three inches tall. The, the wall is 10 feet. The wall in front of Elise is 10 feet away. Okay, this is Elise, that's her eye. The wall, that the, I meant that to imply that the, the the TV was hanging on the wall. Mm. Can we please stop talking to each other while class is going on? No? Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. So to Elise, how big, you know, does this phone seem to be like how big of a TV does it seem to be if it were far away? Okay. Uh, well, like they just said, the wall is 10 feet away from her, from her eye. Uh, so how tall would a TV have to be in order to appear as big as this phone does when the phone is closer to her face? Well, first of all, this is measured in inches and this is measured in feet. So I mean, what's that, Allie? Is the 10 feet like from the phone to the TV or the... From eyeball? Elise. The wall in front of Elise, there's Elise, is 10 feet away. So we have two similar triangles again. And scaling things up or scaling things down is helped quite a bit when we have similar triangles. This is exactly what we're learning about. don't have to draw these two triangles. I'm just trying to highlight the fact that we have a large triangle here and a smaller triangle down here, a larger triangle there between the eye and the TV and between the eye and the phone here. This is one. Well, okay, so what I just had started to say was this is measured in inches, three inches tall, and one inch at the base, or one foot at the base. Okay. But we probably need to measure these in the same measurement. Do you want to turn it into all of them into inches or all of them into feet? Feet. Well, if we do, if we do feet, how much of a foot is three inches? It's not a foot. Like it's not like one foot or three inches. Or three inches. How much of a foot? What's that? 
what part of a foot is that? Is it half a foot? No. Like less than half. One quarter. It's exactly a fourth, because if I, if I had four of these, I would have a foot, right? I'd have 12 inches. So then we have to do things in like, this is a fourth, and this is one, and this is 10. But if we go to inches, how many inches would this be? 12. And then how many inches would this be? Uh, one, times 12 times 10. Throw a zero on the end of 12, you got 120 one. inches. So I think smart. inches is a good way to go because <laughs> then there's no fraction involved. Yeah. Okay. So let's leave it as three inches. We'll turn this into 120 inches. We'll turn this into 12 inches. So now our rectangles look like three inches tall, 12 inches at the base, and this one is 120 inches at the base. Jeez, okay. big triangle. Yes, very big triangle. So this triangle is how many times as big as this triangle? 10 times. 10 times as big, right? 12 to 120, 120 divided by 12, a scaling factor of 10. Well, yeah. yeah. So, uh, Maybe 30? Uh, yeah, this 30. would have to be 30, right? Everything about this bigger triangle is 10 feet, or not 10 feet, 10 times as big as the small one. I'm going to start writing names on the board. And as soon as you might feel. So this triangle, this big triangle, is 10 times as big as the small triangle. Which means that if this, right, the height of this t uh, TV, uh, uh, phone screen is 3 inches, that would scale up 10 that times bigger and be a 30 inch tall TV. That's a pretty big TV. Is that what you would call a 30 inch TV? No, that's not. <laughs> that's tiny. That's tiny. Well, oh, I mean, when you say 30 inch TV, does it mean it's 30 inches tall? Well, it's 30, 30 inches, inches tall. around the whole area. Yeah, I don't know. That's not how TV is measured. I know, right? It's right in the It's from quarter to quarter, yeah. It's not, it's not to the top. So would this be a 30 inch TV bigger than the 30 inch TV or smaller than a 30 inch TV? Bigger. So if it's 30 inches tall, would it be more than 30 inches from there to there? Yeah. Yeah, it would be. And think about this. If you if you had a 30-inch TV, you could, since it's measured corner to corner, you could put that 30-inch TV here, like turn it diagonally, and it would fit right there. You see what I mean? Yep. A 30-inch TV is one that's 30 from corner to corner. So this small, this this 30 inch TV could its diagonal could fit just along the the vertical part of this TV. So this would be quite a bit bigger. But how big exactly it is kind of depends on its aspect ratio. You don't know if it's hey! line screen, Jesus. it's four three, what exactly is it? But that's not even the question. Just want to know how tall of a TV would that be? Would it be 30 inches tall if you were holding a three inch uh, iPhone or whatever? This is, I think this is a Samsung. Samsung. Uh, one foot in front of your face. It's pretty good from a distance. <coughs> okay, so we figured it out. 30 inches tall, that's how tall the TV is. Now this one. Uh, this is hopefully an experiment you got to do. I didn't, uh, you know, it was kind of spotty with the clouds and all that kind of stuff, so I didn't really nah, take it as an actual assignment. The thing that, you, that I wanted you to find out is that for most people, they're surprised how far away they have to hold a piece of paper. Because that hole is pretty small, and the moon seems kind of big, right? And so you think, like, I probably have to hold it pretty close to get the whole moon in there. It turns out you hold it at about arm's length. Yeah, that's what I did. Like, see it close. You did what? You can see it. Arms length away. Arms length, your arms length away? Yeah. You're kind of a long arm. Yeah, so it's, it's pretty easy to see, actually. Yeah, and it, it, it fits perfectly in there. 
right? If you hold it about an arm's length. Sydney? Uh, yeah, if you, if you give it to Hallie, Hallie could just like throw it on my desk. That'd be good. That'd be good. I was supposed to add fire, but my contacts got messed up. Like, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Wait, you can add contacts. There's also a common. It's like a, it's a yeah. trick question. If you ask somebody, how big a coin would you have to hold up to perfectly cover up the moon? Not, I mean, if you hold up a big thing, it's going to cover up the moon. But perfectly cover it up. If you held it at arm's length. Maybe a pen? Well, you already know that if I hold a, if I hold a piece of paper out at arm's length, the hole in like a three ring binder it's hole is there? It's smaller than a penny. It's smaller than a dime. Dime is the yeah. smallest US currency, right? So it turns out, like I said, it's a trick question. There's no coin that's small enough to do that, because it actually turns out to be so small. Tiny button. A tiny button. Uh, like, oh, like this button maybe right there. Yeah. Oh. Uh, so it's, it's counter, it's what you call counterintuitive. People think, most people think like, oh, probably like a, some people think a quarter, some people think a dime. It turns out it's, there's just no coin small enough. Uh, also, just so you're aware, if you ever see a moon and you're like, oh, that moon is bigger, no. It's not any bigger than it ever is. Okay? It looks bigger. Why does it look bigger? Do you know why it looks bigger? Because when you're at a different angle than you are or something. I don't know. It's no. closer. Closer. No. I mean, it's true. The Earth does get closer to the moon, but by a little bit. Not by an amount that you can see with your eye. Okay? It's not like the coming in and out like this gets bigger and smaller. Okay? Depending on where it is in its orbit. It is closer or farther away, but... Why does it look like it's bigger? Even though, I can assure you, take out a piece of paper and hold it at arm's length, you'll find it's exactly the same size. <coughs> oh, no. Right, well, or sometimes you have to make it a little bigger. Oh, oh. Um, so when it's close to the horizon and it's close to things, like mountains and trees and whatever, it looks bigger because we're comparing it to things here. When it's up in the sky, we've got nothing to compare it to. It's just up there, it's like bigger than the stars and stuff. But it's, there's nothing to compare it to. When it gets down here, it looks like it's bigger, but it's still just as big as it ever looks. Uh, did you have another theory? Yeah. Because, uh, you know, like, like the eclipse, like the little moon, because uh -huh. like, it's shaded, so it's looks like. Well, I'm kind of assuming, like, comparing two full moons, like a full moon that's up there, a full moon that's down here. This one down here would look bigger because it's closer to the stuff that we look at every day, like mountains and cars and stuff, and buildings. And it looks bigger, but it, I guarantee you, it's not. Always carry around a folded three ring binder piece of paper with you. <laughs> Why? The same size. Like, different, like, full moon, like, phases. Phases, yeah. What about it? Well, like I said, just kind of assuming that we have, we're comparing two full moons, and it's the entire moon. Okay. So anyway, that was a little bit of an aside. If it look, if the moon looks bigger, or somebody says, "Oh, the moon was really big last night," then it was still the same size. It could be that no one all that says, "No, it wasn't. It was the same size as always is." Wait, so um, what was the answer to the last time? Yeah. One that we're doing right now, or the oh the previous one? Thirty, 30 inches. Yeah, thirty inches tall. Oh, okay. Yeah. So why is the moon bright? Because it's the way that the sun gets it. All it is a reflection. So there's a rating for how reflective things are. I think it's called the R factor. The, reflective the R factor. factor. Woo. Uh, and I don't know what the number is, but the the R factor, the reflective factor of the moon, and the reflective factor of Cement, concrete, is just about the same. So the moon is just about as reflective of this, as a giant concrete ball. It's brighter because we get a little bit more of the like the angle of the sun to the moon is so a little bit better. We get that more of that reflection. If it's a little bit more like this, then we're not getting as much back to our eye. Uh, great. So let's measure these things out. It's held out at arm's length which means that from the eye to the paper is two feet. Um, the whole of the piece of paper is five sixteenths of an inch across. Five sixteenths of an inch across. And the moon is 238,900 miles away. 
Dang. Wowie. Wow. I was right the oh, first man. time. Dang it. Oh, so from the moon. Yeah, now, you know what? Let's just, let's, I mean, why? I shouldn't sweat it too much, but. When we say it's so many so many miles away, or do the people are measuring to this side of the moon or to the center of the moon? Center. Ow. I've never looked it up. I don't know those official center. measurements what they're measuring to. Okay. Yeah. Oh shh. Oh, Jesus. Two hundred thirty-eight thousand hundred miles away. That's from the eye to the moon. So the base of this big triangle is two hundred thirty-eight thousand nine hundred miles. The base of the small triangle is two feet, and the height of the small triangle is five sixteenths of an inch. Yep. The problem. The first problem is with all these measurements. It's very similar to the problem we had here. Before we started this problem, what do we have to do? Change it to inches. What's that? Change it to inches. We needed to change it to the same kind of measurement, to the feet or inches. And we chose inches just because we didn't have to deal with fractions in that case. So we have three different measurements, miles, feet, and inches. So they, they all have to be the same somehow. Should we change them to miles, feet, or inches? Say inches. Think we should change it to inches? Why do you think inches and not changing it to miles? Or the smallest unit. I like the smallest unit because you are going to deal with the fewest fractions that way. If I take something big, like five sixteenths of an inch, and I try to scale it up to something, they say big or small. I take something small, like an inch, and scale it up to miles, especially if it's five sixteenths of an inch, I'm going to get this fraction of a fraction of a fraction of a mile. How many miles is five sixteenths of an inch? It's a tiny, tiny decimal. And we're going to have to round that decimal off, and it can cause all these errors. So if we, if we turn this instead into inches, and this into inches, this can stay 5 sixteenths of an inch and be you know, not very rounded off. So how do we figure out, let's just start with two feet. How many inches is that? 24 inches. 24 inches. Two feet. Two feet. 12, feet 12 inches and a foot. Two feet, 24 inches. Are we going to figure out how many feet, or sorry, any inches are in 238,900 miles? How many inches are in a mile? How many inches are in a mile? Does anybody know what how many inches are in a mile? <laughs> Mac knows. <coughs> Even though we're supposed to turn that in already? Huh? We didn't collect ours. He just turned out at the beginning of class. Uh -huh. Did you look at how many inches are in a mile? There's like five Oh, you found how many feet are in a mile? Oh. That's handy. So, Mac has right here 5,280 feet in a mile. Uh -huh. 5,280 feet in a mile. How many inches are in a mile? So, 5,280 feet in a mile. Can we use that to convert convert the miles into feet? Yes. Think about it. Yes. No. Let's see it. Yes. If I if I told you that the moon was a mile away, <laughs> could you tell me how many feet that's it? That is. How many feet would it be? Five thousand two hundred eighty feet. What about if it was two miles away? Uh, five thousand two hundred eighty feet times two. Times two. What if it was two hundred thirty-eight thousand hundred miles away? Multiply. That feet times those amounts. Why are you talking like that? It's amusing to me how many people in this area fake southern accents. You just talk the way you talk. Lane. Yeah. Lane. Lane. He doesn't fake it though. He's like does it on purpose, but like he can't help it anymore. Yeah. So the miles cancel out. Now we're in feet. Okay. Now I'm, now if I multiply these two numbers together, I'll know how many feet it is. But 
I wanted to convert it to inches. So how do I figure out how many inches it is? Before you multiply it by miles, one should change the 500, 5,280 feet into inches. Oh wait, how would we convert 5,280 feet into inches? Think about this, how many inches are in a foot? Well, well. How many inches in two feet? Twenty-four. How many inches in three feet? Thirty-six. 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 How many just inches in five thousand two hundred eighty feet? Five thousand two hundred eighty feet. Bring it on. Ten thousand. Listen to me, please. Listen. Respond only with the answers to my questions. How many inches are in one foot? Twelve. Twelve. How many are inches, are inches are in two feet? 24. How did we figure that out? Well, you just multiply two. Okay, yeah. so you multiply it by two, because you got two sets of 12 Ooh. inches. How many inches are in three feet? Already 36. Right? 12 times three, because there's three sets of 12 inches. Now, let's scale that way up. How many inches are in 5,280 feet? How would we figure that out? Times that by two. Times this by two? Twelve. Why Twelve. Yeah, twelve. Twelve. Yes, twelve because twelve inches in every foot. Right. So we did the examples of one foot, two feet, twenty-four, three feet, thirty-six inches, five thousand two hundred eighty. That's five thousand two hundred and eighty times we're looking at twelve inches. Why twelve inches? Twelve inches. Twelve inches. Twelve inches. Oh, I know. So if I multiply this by twelve inches a foot. Right? So that converts the so feet into three, inches, three, and I can take that and multiply it by that. I'm going to give you 62,316. Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah. No. Oh, just this part. Yeah. Just this part would be, yeah. okay, now multiply that by 238,900. Oh, yeah. Wait, times 63,000? Right, because 63,000 is how many inches are in one mile, right? And we've got 238,900 miles. And every one of those miles is 60 some thousand inches. And uh, we're going to get some interesting results on our calculator, so let me show you what it'll look like. 12 times 5,280 times 238,900. Hold on now. Yes, because. You're not helping. I am trying to help you. Shh, He's talking over me. This E10 means times 10 to the 10th power, which might sound like, how would I know what that means? If you multiply it by 10 to the 10th power, you can just move the decimal place over 10 times. If I multiply it by 10 to the 5th power, I can move it over 5 times. So I'll move this over 10 times. So let me write that number down. Um, option. Okay, so I'm going to move it over once, twice, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times. It doesn't show me what's past the four, so I just throw zeros there so that I can at least get a number that's that many, that many uh, uh, places. Right. So it's that many what? Ten. Ten. Zero. Inches. Inches. So that many inches to what? What? Is that many inches to where? To the moon. To get to the moon would be that many inches. That's how many inches it is to the moon. That's. If we were to read that number, what would that number be? As it's up here on the board. One million. Five. I'll start over here. <laughs> start over here. Three places is a thousand. Three more places is a million. A million. Yeah, it's a thousand times a thousand, which is a million. This is in the billions. Fifteen billion, one hundred thirty-six million seven hundred four thousand inches to the moon. Wow. A million. Make the floor way more farther than miles. Way farther than what? Uh, yeah. When it's an inch, it's an right. Yeah. But then we realize it's an inches. In, I mean, 238,900 miles oh, is nothing yeah. to shake a stick at. It's 
far as well. But now the question is, as it has been with this example and this example and the other tree examples that we've done, how many times bigger? How many times bigger is this big rectangle than the small rectangle? This one is 24 inches at the base. This one is 15 billion plus inches at the base. How do we figure out how many times bigger it is? How are we gonna figure out how many times bigger it is? So let's say this triangle represents this smaller triangle right here. It's 24 by 5 sixteenths. What if there was a similar triangle? figure out that this is twice as big as that? Besides saying, oh, I know that 24 times is twice as big. Divide what? 48 by 24. By 24. Yeah. By 24. Yeah. Exactly. OK. If this were 72, Three. divide by 24. Divide by 24, right? 72 divided by 24 turns out it's 3. 3 times bigger. What if this one was? 15 billion, 136 million, 704,000 at the base. Divide that by 24. So 15 billion, 136 million, 704,000 divided by 24. Should be 63,000. Oh, 60, 630,000. 630,000. 680? No, 96. 690. 96. 630,000. Yep. 696. So I just want to double check here. So that is the number of inches. Uh, and I'll divide that by 24. Okay. Actually, that's three more zeros. 630 million, 696,000 times as big. So we multiply this by the 5 16 because this, this large triangle is 630 million and some odd times bigger, right? So this side should be 630 million times bigger than 5 16 So we multiply the 5 16 right? Well, actually, I don't want to. So I'm going to take that answer, multiply it by 5 sixteenths. So we get 197,092,500. What's that a measure of? The 5 sixteenths was the measurement of the whole. Then we multiplied that by 630,696,000, right? right? Which multiplies, figures out, this, that's how much bigger this big triangle is. So that's exploding this side up 16, what's, or 630 million times bigger. 
right? So this number is a measurement of what? No. Don't look at the clock and wait for it to run out. Try participating in class, Sydney. The miles. Well, this is how many miles it is, 238,900 miles away, right? But we took the 5 sixteenths, multiplied it by 630 million, right? That's how big this side is. It's this big. Diameter of the moon measured in inches. Inches, right? This is in inches. We blew it up to 630 million times as big. That's how many inches across it. We probably want to know how many. How many what? Do we want to know how many inches it is across? Is that what we want to know? Do we want to know how many inches this moon is across? Well, that is the diameter in inches. Yeah. If you were to measure the diameter of the moon, let's take those out. If you want to know the diameter of the moon, would you want to know it in inches? No. Yeah. No. Or feet. No. Feet. Feet? Yeah. Six feet. Miles. Fine. Miles. 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 So let's convert this into miles. It's in inches right now. Right? Yeah. Now we convert it into miles. Convert it. Okay, convert it into feet. So this is how many inches it is. How do I convert that into feet? Divided by 12, right? Divide it up into little groups of 12 and see how many of those groups there are. Okay, that's how many of those, that's how many feet it is across. How do I convert that into miles? Divided by 5, 2, the mile number thing. The mile number thing. 5,280 miles. So, our calculations are telling us that is 3,110 miles across, okay? I uh, guess. We're like three minutes. We're like, yeah, we're like, 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 like,